Hello, today we're gonna to give you some tips and tricks on how to build your new Rima sideboard. But we have a few things for you that you'll need before we get started. You'll need a Phillips head screwdriver and an optional flathead screwdriver. If you're on your own, you can build this yourself, but having a second person is helpful. And just make sure that all the pieces are facing the right way when you're putting them together and you'll do great. So let's get into it. A quick disclaimer, in these tips, we won't cover every step. So just make sure you also follow the instructions and do all the steps in between. Let's start off with steps five and six. So to do that, we need pieces three, five, and four. Now, what you need to pay attention to on this step is that this channel here on the pieces three and four lines up with the channel here on piece one. So let's insert piece three onto this side. And then in step six, it is piece four over here. And with piece five, just make sure that these holes are facing the same way as piece three. And this little wedge goes over this black rail. Now we'll secure all these pieces with the cam locks. So with the cam locks, we find that using a flathead screwdriver is a little bit easier than a Phillips head screwdriver. It just stays in place a little bit better when you're putting the cam locks in. And if you don't know, with cam locks, the little indent goes over the cam bolt that's sticking out. And then you just put it in and then twist it until it stops. All right, now all the cam locks are in and just make sure that you have this channel that lines up properly on both sides. And we're set to move on to the next steps. Our next tip is for step 10. And for step 10, we need pieces 10. There's two of them and this bar, which is piece nine, and these two bolts that are L. And for this, we want to make sure that the legs are on the outer edge. See how they're not symmetrical? We want them to be on the outer edge of the piece. And then with the bolts L, we're gonna attach the bar to the middle of these. So do one side at a time, and then also, Make sure not to completely tighten them yet. We need them loose for the future steps. All right, now that those are finger tight, we can line up the pieces with the holes in the bottom of the other piece. And once they're lined up, you need to use bolt K to secure those to the piece. So we'll do that with our Allen key and we'll just do all 14 of them. And these ones you can tighten all the way. If the holes aren't quite lining up, just loosen the ones around it until you can push it and force it into its spot so you can get all the screws in. Like so. And you may notice that we have four left over. That is because those are for piece 11, which is the middle leg here. So that's step 10 and 11. And then once that's finished, make sure that you uh, tighten these end ones up completely. All right, now we're in step 17, where we're going to attach the doors to the piece. And to do that, we're gonna be using screws R, and we need our Phillips head screwdriver for this step. Now, when we attach the doors, what we wanna do is when we line up the hinges with the panels, we want to go in an X pattern when we're attaching the doors. So when you do this, it's nice to have a second person, but if you're on your own, one thing that I like to do is I like to stick the screw into the hinge and then put my screwdriver on the screw and then just have it ready to go. And then line it up with the first hole and just screw it in. And then also don't screw it in all the way until you get all the other screws in place. Again, don't tighten them all the way yet. We need to do the bottom hinge before we tighten the rest of them up. Now, once all the screws are in, you can finish putting them in the rest of the way, all the way tight. Now that we have all four doors on, if they're looking a little crooked, go ahead and refer to our video on how to adjust hinges and you can get them all fixed up. We hope this video was helpful to you for building the Rima sideboard. For more tips and tricks videos, go to walkeredison.com.